Here is the latest progress on the CNC scroll saw. So since my last video, I've scrapped that design because making the blade or really anything move back and forth very rapidly is a really hard problem. And turns out the good scroll saw designs are already well built for this. And so in a combination of the rotary control that I developed for the last design, I've been able to fit this onto the Pegas scroll saw that I already have. So there are two motor driven bearings and those bearings drive a square shaft which is connected to a cylindrical shaft which is driven by the scroll saw. The blade tensioning is achieved by tightening a lock nut that pulls the blade holder up through the plastic bushing. There's a thrust bearing that sits on top so that as the blade gets tensioned the whole thing can still rotate freely. So this has been a really big win so far. I got this put together in just over a week and uh, with this first test cut I'm about three times faster than my previous successful test cut. So here's the piece comes out. It's a little imperfect on the end there because I didn't have the work piece totally square, but that's fine. The edges look good. The blade was still taut when I finished and I'm pretty happy so far. Here's a close up that shows each of those pieces from bottom to top. It's the blade holder, which holds the blade with two set screws, which sits in the bushing housing that is purple. And then there's the thrust bearing, the lock nut, a piece of M5 all thread, which lets me adjust the blade tension. And that is finally connected to the square shaft. That square shaft I've shrunk down from the original 10 millimeter square tube to six millimeter square tube so that a M5 thread just conveniently fits into the center of it. And I tap that with a small jig that I built that got me pretty close to straight on. And one complication though in shrinking down from the 10 millimeter size was shrinking down each of these bearings closer meant that I didn't have any more room as you can see that the nut interferes with the head of the next bolt. And so instead I went for a set screw so that there was no head protruding and this let me pull each of those bearings in a bit closer. All right, that's all I got for now. See you next time.